More women in Korea, especially young women, are suffering from menstrual disorders due to stress and dieting. Our Song Ji Sun reports that it's important to get it under control at an early stage to prevent serious complications. That time of the month can be miserable for women, especially if they suffer from unbearable cramps, excessive bleeding, or irregular periods. These symptoms are all categorized as menstrual disorders, and they can be so painful, they interfere with daily life. My period makes me anemic because it lasts nearly a month. I get dizzy and sometimes collapse. It hurts so bad that I can't breathe or walk. I end up in the emergency room to have painkillers injected. And these women are not alone. The number of women in Korea visiting the hospital for menstrual disorders has more than tripled over the past decade. Among those suffering from menstrual disorders, three out of four are in their 20s and 30s, with the main cause for this age group attributed to stress and excessive dieting. Aside from discomfort, the consequences of the disorder can be quite serious. One sign to watch for is the amount of menstrual fluid lost during a monthly cycle. The average amount should be between 30 to 50 milliliters. Women who experience a loss outside of this range should see a doctor, as it could be indicative of a more serious problem. Menstrual disorders can lead to uterine cancer, thyroid diseases, or chronic fatigue. Experts say that along with painkillers, decreasing caffeine intake can lessen menstrual pain, and birth control pills can help regulate the menstrual cycle. Song Ji-sun, Arirang News.